COVID may have prevented some kids from going to school for a while, but it never stops a creative or an artistic mind. I just always remembered really being into art. I've always loved it. I've always found that I re I'm relieved and I'm calm when I, when I do it. At just 18 years old, Emily Simpson is already an accomplished artist. And she's featured this month in the Gallery 510 here in Decatur. So this is part of a program that we have with all schools, you know, in the area. It's uh, the Young Artist Showcase and the uh, Spring Show. It's all related to uh, uh, junior high and high school. So basically, it's a, it's a program that we support. And uh, they are working in art, and they have their own agenda, you know. Everybody is creating stuff. But basically, the selection happens through the teachers in every school. Emily's art teacher nominated her to be featured at the gallery. But she's done more for Emily than just nominating her. She found a way to spark her creativity and apply it to canvas or paper. That feeling hit me when I was in freshman year of high school. And I had my teacher, Miss Nichols, and she basically just gave me this confidence that I'd never had. Like, she would tell me that I, could, I was able to do things that no, she's seen no one else do. So that really helped me like believe in myself. I just, after I was finally able to take some art classes in school, my skills just thrived and that's all I really love to do. More often than not, the school sport's gonna get the center stage in the popularity contest. But the process of creating may not get the crowds in the stands to cheer, but it's equally as important to development, especially in young minds, and it might even be therapeutic. It, it helps people be uh, or employ their time productively and grow and relax, and it is also excellent for the brain, you know, to express yourself, to communicate. Vincent Van Gogh, how he really dealt through his mental health through painting, and that was a really good way for me to deal with my mental health. Earlier in my years, I would paint and I would draw because I really had nothing else to do and doing so really helped me deal with some hard times in my life and really helped me express all this weight that was weighing down on me. So this is to all the local art teachers out there. Nominate your students, encourage them. Do what you have to do to foster their creativity. You might be giving one of these kids a new direction in life. I, I know that I'm going to go to college for sure to more about art, art history, and just if I could find a job that has anything to do with art, I know I'll be happy. Art is for everybody. I would say that everybody thinks at least a couple of times in their life about creating. Grab a, uh, you know, a, a brush and some paint, some material, ask a couple of questions. Grab a book, watch a video. Nowadays, there's a lot of uh, ways of uh, putting your inspiration in motion. And through creation, you know, you can get a lot of happiness. Next month, we're going to feature another young artist. So if you have a young artist in your family or your circle of friends, encourage them. And use Emily as an example. The sky's the limit. Steve Nichols, WAND.